Hey, good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for coming out today. I really appreciate it. And, uh, and I'd say thanks for bringing the beautiful weather. If you've been around this area before, this is actually quite nice for February. So thanks for bringing the nice weather with you. Hey, I'm Colonel Joe Ewers. I'm proud to serve as the commanding officer of the 2nd Cavalry Regiment. As you heard last week, the United States Department of Defense announced that the 2nd Cavalry Regiment would deploy an infantry squadron to Romania as a measure of our commitment to the NATO alliance. Behind me and around us, you can see those words translated into action. Our soldiers are preparing our strikers and other important mission equipment for movement. And our very first 2nd Cavalry Regiment soldiers arrived in Romania within the last 24 hours. Along with the strikers that you see here today, some of America's finest young men and women have departed or will depart to Romania in the coming days. They are the centerpiece of this incredible combined arms team and they're proud members of the Alliance. The important mission of these soldiers is to clearly demonstrate our strong commitment to our allies. From their forward station in Romania, our soldiers will work closely with our partnered host nation forces. Together, they'll conduct tough, realistic training. They'll build interoperability and trust. In this manner, together, we will assure our allies, deter our adversaries, and stand ready to defend the NATO alliance. Now, we are deploying American soldiers under the command and control of Fifth Corps and at the invitation of our Romanian allies. We will stand shoulder to shoulder with them for as long as we are welcome and the mission requires. The 2nd Cavalry Regiment is no stranger to the Romanian Army. Over the past year, we served together in NATO's Battle Group Poland, and we trained together at the Joint Multinational Readiness Center. We look forward to working together again in this very important mission. Now, while the backdrop of the current security environment is different, this type of mission is not new or different to the 2nd Cavalry Regiment. It's exactly who we are and why we exist. As a forward station Stryker Brigade combat team assigned to the United States Army, Europe, and Africa, we routinely deploy across the European continent, and our major training exercises always include our NATO allies and partners. The 2nd Cavalry Regiment's standing mission remains to provide a ready and trained force that can do exactly what we're seeing today, deploy professional combat credible forces to partner with our Alliance teammates. Our readiness demonstrates our resolve and it assures our allies and deters our adversaries. Now, just as this mission is not new to the 2nd Cavalry Regiment, Neither is our service on the European continent in trying times. Most recently, the 2nd Cavalry Regiment led NATO's Battle Group Poland in the Enhanced Forward Presence Mission. But the regiment's legacy in Europe spans over 100 years and includes many defining security moments. And it now includes this important mission and this important moment. Now, at this point, I'd like to talk a little bit about the specific unit that we're deploying to Romania. Our regiment's second squadron provides the vast majority of the forces who will establish Task Force Cougar, a combined arms team. Under second squadron's leadership, Task Force Cougar includes soldiers from the regiment's field artillery squadron, engineer squadron, and support squadron, as well as a mission command node from our regimental headquarters and select other individual specialized augmentees. The men and women that, that comprise Task Force Cougar have conducted tough and realistic training over the past year to prepare them for this deployment. Second Squadron participated in Sabre Guardian in Hungary, along with many of our NATO allies. They also participated in Sabre Junction at the Joint Multinational Readiness Center with over 15 NATO allies and partners. Our soldiers are true professionals 
and they are the right team for this mission. I have the utmost confidence and faith in their ability to get the job done. And with that, I have time to answer a few questions. Okay, yes, ma'am. So certainly the focus of the mission at this point is training. And really training is the essence of what militaries do. It's the center of our preparedness. It's the way that we interact with our partners and how we build that interoperability and build that trust. So the focus is training. Uh, as a combat force, as an army, we are always prepared uh, to meet any mission as, it, as is required. But the focus will be on training and we will initially partner with multiple Romanian elements uh, within the region there. Uh, so based on our initial, our initial positioning, we'll just be with the Romanian forces, training, working together, uh, building that trust and credibility. Thank you. Um, yes, I mean, sure, there, sure there is in our history. Uh, the focus of this particular mission, of course, is to reinforce the NATO alliance, uh, to build that trust and confidence, to reassure our allies, and to strengthen uh, the eastern flank of the NATO alliance. Well, we are a striker brigade combat team, which means that we are enabled by the striker vehicle. Uh, it comes in a, in, a, in a variety of shapes and sizes and enables our warfighting capacities and our readiness in a way that is unique to those vehicle platforms. So uh, there is a, an array of striker vehicles that goes with the infantry squadron as a combined arms team. Uh, each of the subordinate unit elements is equipped with a variety uh, of equipment to include the striker fighting vehicle. Sure, so we will uh, ingress to a sing uh, starting location, but we are already developing locations throughout the country where we will partner with various Romanian forces. Uh, and, and that is to enable that training, that tough and realistic training, which is the bedrock of our readiness and of our interoperability. For us to be shoulder to shoulder with those forces training together, that is the readiness that serves as deterrence and that is the, really the cornerstone of our, of our trust. It, it, you know, as, as stated in my, in my comments, we are going to be there uh, at the invitation of the Romanian, uh, the Romanian government. We will be there as long as we're welcome and the mission requires. And so it, it is open-ended because it is an open-ended mission at this point in time. But for as long as the mission requires and we are welcome. So I, you know, I would tell you, just even speaking for, from my own perspective as a soldier in this formation, what I feel is, is an immense pride. Uh, I'm proud to be a member of this formation. I'm, I'm proud to do uh, what I've trained to do. I'm, I'm proud to step forward and be a part of the security that is meant to stabilize the environment. And so I'm proud to be a reliable member of the team, and I know that my soldiers feel the same way. Thank you very much. Again, we are going to, uh, to walk the line and then have a... Uh, okay. I, I just wanted to say thank you again to everybody for coming out today. I know that this isn't the, you know, the, the, the most uh, exquisite location maybe to visit, 
Uh, but we are grateful to have you here. We're very proud of what we're doing, very proud of our soldiers and, and glad to share that with you today. So thank you very much for your time.